What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview. And we have a big tournament on this week, the WTA 1000 event in Madrid, the Madrid Open, which has a lot of big players playing, but a lot of players are pulled out as well. So let's go look at the withdrawal list. So here are the players that have withdrawn from the Madrid Open. We have Bianca Andreescu. She's not playing. Collins, Ferro, Sophia Kennan, the world number four. She's out. Strikova, Vekic, who's still recovering from surgery. Serena Williams is not playing. And Yastremska is also not playing. Starting at the top of the draw now, we have... 16 seeds in this one, and nobody gets a buy in the first round. So Ash Barty, she's playing first round, and she is a tough first round against Shelby Rogers. They played a couple of weeks ago on the clay, and it was a very tight match. So tough first round there for the world number one. Winner of that's going to play a qualifier in the next round because we've got two qualies going at it. Again, we've got two more qualifiers in this part of the draw going at it in the first round. Winner of that battle will take on the winner of Risk versus the number 14 seed and French Open champ, Fiontech. Then we got the number nine seed, Kvitova versus Buzkova. Winner of that's going to take on either Kerber or Vondrasova, which is a tough first round match. Then we have Kudamatova versus Vesnina. Winner of that match is going to take on either Wildcard, Kazan Seva, or the defending champion, number seven seed, Burtons. So some big names in here, including obviously the world number one, former French Open champion. And also, we could have a clash in the third round of the last two year champions of Roland Garros with Barty versus Fiontech, which would be a great third round match. But also, watch out for Kudamatova who is at a career high ranking at the moment and doing really well on the clay. Second quarter of the draw now, we have the number four seed, Svitolina. She takes on Teichman in the first round. Winner of that plays the winner of Bedosa and Krajikova in the second round. Then again, we have two qualifiers playing in the first round. Winner of that battle will take on the winner of Putin Seva and the number 15 seed, Konta, in the second round. Then we have a clash of the Grand Slam champions in the first round between the number 10 seed, Muguruza and Sloane Stevens. Winner of that match will take on the winner of Svidova and Jabal. Boar in the second round. Then we have Martic taking on a qualifier. Winner of that's going to play either another qualifier or the number eight seed, Belinda Bencic, in the second round. So not as stacked as the top quarter of the draw this part, but it still has some good names. Obviously got to watch out for Svitolina. And also Bencic, who at this tournament in 2019 beat Naomi Osaka, who was the world number one at the time. And also Muguruza. We know that she's had a great year so far. And she has won a French Open before, so keep an eye on Muguruza as well. All right, bottom half of the draw now, the third quarter of the draw. We've got the number five seed, Sabalenka. She takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either a qualifier or Kazakina in the second round. Then we have Pagula versus Kastea. Winner of that's going to take on either Alexandrova or the number 12 seed Azarenka in the second round. Then we've got the number 13 seed Mertens taking on Zhang in the first round. Winner of that's going to take on the winner of Qualifier or Rybakina in the second round. Then we've got Lynette versus Zhang. Winner of that's going to take on one of the toughest first round matches for a seed. Tormo, the wild card, taking on number three seed Halep. Not an easy first round there for the third seed Halep. But some names to watch out for, obviously. Sabalenka, who got to the final of Stuttgart last week. And Simona Halep, of course. Watch out for her. But also keep an eye on Castella because she actually won a tournament last week, beating Elise Mertens in the final in Istanbul. So she's in a little bit of form. Bottom quarter of the draw now, the fourth quarter. We have a great first round matchup. The number six seed, Pliskova. She takes on Coco Goff in the first round. Circle that as one to watch. The winner of that match is going to take on the winner of Pavlichenkova and Keys in the second round. Then we have Kuznetsova versus Ostapenko. Go Battle of the Grand Slam Champions. Winner of that's going to take on an American in the second round because we have the wild card Venus Williams taking on the Australian Open finalist, number 11 seed, Jennifer Brady. Then we got the number 16 seed, Sakari. She takes on Anissimova in the first round. Circle that as one to watch. Winner of that's going to take on either a qualifier or Contivate in the second round. Then we have Wong versus Makova. Winner of that's going to take on a qualifier or the number two seed, Naomi Osaka, who we haven't seen since the Miami Open where she lost to Sakari. And as you can see there, she might have to play Sakari in the third round if they meet. So it's going to be a huge matchup. This has got some big names in this one. Obviously, got to look out for Osaka and Sakari as well. But keep an eye on Brady because if she can get through Venus Williams and Pliskova doesn't get through Goff in the first round, the draw might open up for her a little bit and she could make it to the quarterfinals. So there you have it. It's the Madrid Open. It's a big clay court event, not only for the men who have an ATP 1000 next week, but the women. It's a WTA 1000 event. Huge name playing. Obviously, we have some big names that are not playing, but it's still a stacked event. You've got Halep, you've got Osaka, you've got Barty. Huge, huge names. 
Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think's winning this one? Because it's very wide open. It's still kind of early for the clay court season, but we're starting to get to the business end as well because the French Open is only a couple of weeks away. So having a look at the draws here and seeing who has the better draw because, you know, barty has got a very tough draw. Halep has a few tough matches as well. And Osaka's going to have to fight. So I'm going to go with Svetlina, the fourth seed, to get through. I feel like she's just been making semi-finals this year and she's really knocking on the door of getting a big final and a big title. So I'm going to go with Svetlina to get through her part of the draw, which is pretty good, and to take home the title. Again, and let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one to so the Madrid Open. We've got the big names playing and some of the big names who we haven't seen on clay in 2021.